everyone Mike here this afternoon I'm gonna split and stack a little bit of firewood now we're gonna kind of focus in on the ends of those wood stacks and how to keep them nice and straight and square and support that whole you know long run of firewood so a year from now it's not falling over and we're gonna do this without using fence posts or you know stacking up against trees or any other ways to support it other than the firewood itself now I know there's going to be people that say, oh, that's real easy to do. All you do is crisscross the ends. And yes, that's how I'm going to do it. But there's a lot more to it than that. And it all starts with when you're splitting the firewood. So I'm going to split some wood right now. And we'll get into it and we'll start stacking it. And I'll show you what I mean. So if you notice when I was splitting, I split several like intentionally like this with two big flat edges on it. You want these for your ends or also ones like these for your ends. And I'll show you why here. We'll go over and start stacking.
All right, so what you want to do is put these big flat pieces on the bottom. Sometimes you always want them to be the same, you don't always want them to be level. So sometimes you turn them a little bit. This looks like this side's a little bit lower than that side. So I might swap that one out with a little thicker piece. What I like to do is kind of have it just lean in just a tiny little bit. So when you start stacking your other firewood right here, it kind of puts just a little bit of pressure on it. You don't want it leaning out when you start or you're going to have problems down the road. Now after I get up just a few feet like that, I like to start filling in the rest of the stack and build up to it. To it as far as building strong supporting ends to your wood pile. I use these big flat pieces on the bottom. As a matter of fact, I use the heaviest and the largest ones that I have on the bottom. And then as I work my way up, I may even get into using these half rounds like these. And these are all right as well, but just stick with the biggest, heaviest pieces you have on the very bottom. You don't want to use pieces like this. Where you have that round edge, if you've set it on there and try to stack other wood on top of it, it's going to want to turn and roll and your whole end of your pile may fall over. Something else that I do as I'm building this, you know, it's like anything else. You just take your time, do it right the first time, and uh, you won't have to worry about it. It'll last for years. But what I do is I lean this in this way just a little bit as I'm building it, and then when I'm putting the rest of the wood up against it, you kind of push it back to vertical, and it stays nice and tight, and it's in good shape. So this wood that I just stacked behind me is cherry, and it's very abundant here in Pennsylvania, and I really like cherry firewood. Now it doesn't burn as hot as like red oak or white oak or anything like that, but it burns well, but what I like most about it, it dries very quickly. You know, stacked in a single row like I have it here behind me in a well-ventilated area, it'll be ready to burn in six or seven months, no problem at all. 
And about half of this wood, uh, Melissa split the other day. I'll put that video up above here if you didn't see it already. She did a fantastic job. She ran the RK37, the Ranger, the log splitter, set up the cameras. I still do the editing, but she's learning how to do that as well. And she did a great job. Didn't bang anything up. And yes, she is a keeper. I'm well aware of that, and I'm uh, pretty thankful for that. Uh, there's one more thing I want to show you before we wrap this up. Several people have been commenting about this RK by King Cutter dump trailer and how maybe I should uh, maybe rhino line it inside or something to protect it better. That's probably not a bad idea if you were to buy one, but I'm not going to do anything with it. The way I see it, I'm kind of supposed to be testing this stuff out, so I'm using it like anybody else would. I've used this thing a lot. I've hauled tons of stone in it, literally tons and tons of stone in it, uh, just tossing firewood in it. And actually the paint is holding up very, very well inside. There's no dents or dings in it yet at all. It's uh, very well built. But that's the reason I'm not putting like a rhino liner in it or anything like that. I'm just going to use it and uh, we'll see how it holds up. But so far, so well. Now right now it's filthy dirty inside, but uh, the paint's all real good inside. No problems at all. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and when you do, hit that little bell icon and you'll get notifications when we upload and share them with your friends. Thanks.